Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. In this video, we are going to show you the full connection design workflow that you'll be utilizing in this mode of the program. This will include understanding the connection families that are available, the connection design workflows, and how the databases are arranged. Before we start designing connections for our sample model, let's take a few minutes to review the connection families and the connection types that are available in RAM connection to better understand the connection design workflow that we will be using. The STAD Pro RAM connection design mode comes with a database of predefined connection templates that are separated into different connection families. As you start designing connections, only joints within the same connection family can be designed together. Take a few moments to take a look at the nomenclature that is used to define each of the connection families that's available in the RAM connection design mode. Let's now turn our attention to our Analyze STAD Pro model where we've already entered the RAM connection design mode. Now to select the different members within each connection family, you can select them either in the graphical user interface or by using the Select Joints tool. To access the Select Joints tool, you're going to go to the Connection Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and select the different joints, and you can select joints based on their family. For example, I can select all of my beam column flange joints. Now before a connection can be assigned to any joint in the model, the joint must be selected. Typically to select a joint, all of the members connected to that particular joint would be selected and the select joints command can do that automatically for you. Now once you have your joints selected, you are ready to assign a connection template to them. And we have two distinct workflows for you to accomplish this. The first workflow is through the basic connection command. Now basic connections are connection templates that are included in the program and are ready to use. So all of the pieces within the connection template are predefined. Things like size of plate or angles, number of bolts, size of bolts, all of that is predetermined and predefined within the database. Now, once you make your selection and choose your basic connection option, you're going to select a connection family that is consistent with the joints you've selected. So I'm gonna be looking for anything with a BCF at the end since I have beam column flange joints selected. Now the other workflow we have available is our smart connection design workflow. Now if you access the smart connection command, this means you're going to assign a smart connection template. And smart connections are templates where RAM connection will determine all of the main design parameters in the connection, such as things like connector size, number of bolts, and size of welds. So it's not strictly going to stay within the confines of everything predefined in the template. It can perform some iterations to get your most option uh, optimized connection available. Again, you're going to want to make sure you select a connection family that is consistent with the type of joints you've selected. So in the next series of videos, we're going to walk your way through all of the different types of joints that this model contains, so we can bring you from start to finish through your connection design process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.